common security and defense uh, policy. It's, it's also, uh, I think, uh, quite interesting uh, to look at the before uh, from uh, a macro-regional perspective or from a broader perspective. If you look at the, uh, at the numbers, for example, uh, you sometimes get very interesting uh, results. For example, if the V4 uh, group were one country, it would be well within the top 20 economic powers uh, of the world. We would actually uh, move to rank 15 in the, uh, in the purchasing power parity, which means well ahead of Indonesia, of Turkey, of Iran, or even Australia. Uh, with our combined population of 64 million inhabitants, the V4 would be number four in the EU, which is also a proof of, of, of our strong uh, capacity. Uh, another very uh, interesting uh, phenomenon which I would like uh, to mention uh, is uh, our economic uh, performance in the last uh, years. For example, in the last three years, despite the recession in Europe, we have observed an average of 2.08% increase of GDP which means uh, twice as big uh, as the European average of 1.1%. Uh, and the trade between other V4 countries is, is growing uh, uh, very fast. For example, Poland's trade with Hungary, Czech Republic and Slovakia is worth twice the V4 trade with France, meaning the economic capacity of the region in terms of trade is also a very substantial one and still growing, which needs to be underlined. Uh, the before uh, likes to see itself as a kind of growth engine uh, in, uh, in the European Union, uh, making the, the trade and economic capacity also a firm trademark of the, uh, of the uh, before. Our cooperation involves very uh, manifold actors, starting from presidents, prime ministers, as, uh, ministers for foreign affairs, going down to NGOs uh, and uh, people-to-people uh, contacts. Especially the people-to-people -people, uh, uh, aspect uh, is, uh, is uh, one of, of growing attention uh, for, uh, uh, for the group. And uh, another speciality, as I told you, is, uh, uh, is the uh, very uninstitutionalized way of working. The only institution we have created within the last uh, 20 years is the International Visegrad Fund, uh, a fund uh, aimed at supporting uh, transformation processes uh, in our neighborhood, but also uh, projects devoted to people to people uh, contact within the, uh, the before, with an annual budget of 7 million uh, uh, euro. And now a few words about the before presidency. Uh, as you may know, the before presidency is held on, uh, on a, a yearly uh, rotational basis. Uh, it starts in June each year, and uh, uh, in July actually, and uh, it finishes by the end of, of June next year. Poland, which means that Poland is, uh, uh, will finish its presidency in, in three months' time. Uh, Hungary will be the next uh, uh, to, uh, to take over. Uh, what were the priorities of our before uh, presidency? Our slogan, before for uh, integration and cohesion, basically embraces it all. Uh, our main goal uh, was obviously to strengthen pan-European cohesion, but we also put a strong uh, emphasis on energy, security, and uh, uh, on infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure. The regional uh, cohesion aspect is, uh, is obvious, and uh, another priority when it comes to the external uh, aspect of the, of the cooperation was obviously to foster the, uh, the before uh, uh, formula. I mentioned the, the meeting uh, of 6 March with France and Germany. I should maybe also mention a meeting we had in the formula of foreign ministers with the Nordic and the Baltic countries, also an innovative uh, format tested this year by the Polish uh, presidency. Uh, our film priority, as I said in the beginning, is also the neighborhood. Uh, the Eastern uh, Partnership Initiative uh, uh, is something uh, very dear to, to our hearts. Therefore, in May, uh, our foreign ministers will meet 
with partners from the uh, EAP uh, countries and the representatives uh, of, uh, uh, of European institutions. The meeting will be attended by her uh, representative uh, Catherine Ashton and the Commissioner for Enlargement and Neighbourhood uh, Policy, Stefan Vöhle. Meetings with EAP uh, uh, countries belong to a, to a strong uh, practice uh, in, the, uh, in the before group. Uh, as I said, the next one will be held by the Polish Presidency in, uh, in May. We already hope that the meeting can be used uh, uh, to support uh, and assist the preparations uh, for the third summit of the Eastern Partnership, which will be held uh, in uh, uh, November this year uh, in Vilnius during the Lithuanian EU Council uh, Presidency. Important subject of our cooperation is the enlargement policy, uh, and in this sense, in particular, the cooperation with the Western uh, Balkans. And here, we also used to have uh, uh, a strong practice of yearly meetings with the uh, with the uh, uh, representatives of the Balkan uh, countries. The Polish presidency organized a, a foreign minister uh, meeting in, in autumn uh, last year. We also introduced uh, something we are. All I think very proud of an initiative which is called the Pool of Experts, where we try to offer our transformation experience via, let's say, very personalized uh, channels uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the partners in the Balkan countries. Only uh, last week in Warsaw we had a meeting uh, in, uh, in the formula of ombudsman coming from the V4 uh, countries plus Western Balkans, where we try to discuss the very notion on, uh, of human and civic rights, which I think is, is a very important uh, aspect of, of transformation processes valid for, uh, for our Balkan uh, partners. Um, this is more or less uh, about, uh, uh, about the, uh, uh, the main priorities. <coughs> Just shortly about projects which we would like uh, to conclude during the Polish uh, presidency. Uh, as I told you uh, uh, in, in the very beginning, uh, the energy security is something which is uh, uh, being uh, discussed quite intensely uh, in the before. Uh, energy security is also before uh, before's uh, flagship uh, EU project. Uh, we would like, uh, during the Polish presidency, to create a common regional energy market based on the example of other regional uh, cooperation, like the Nordic cooperation, uh, for example. And our main goal is to create a, a central European gas <coughs> market embracing the four B, uh, B4, uh, countries. Uh, we uh, suppose that uh, uh, a joint market would strengthen uh, the, uh, the security aspect and the, the very notion of security uh, in that region and would also help us to better deal uh, with, uh, uh, with the challenges when it comes to, uh, to the gas uh, 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 infrastructure, market prices, etc. Another flagship endeavor of the of the before is the North South <coughs> Energy uh, Interconnection uh, Corridor, where we try uh, via interconnectors uh, to uh, somehow unite and bring the group closer together, not only region, uh, regionally but also with uh, with northern uh, northern uh, uh, Europe. And uh, uh, another Polish uh, uh, presidency initiative when it comes to, to energy uh, is, uh, uh, is the enhancement of the uh, internal electricity uh, markets and, uh, and reducing bar uh, barriers on, on that. Uh, the second pillar of, of our cooperation, which is being strengthened at the moment, uh, is the security uh, cooperation. And here I think it's worth uh, uh, mentioning that the before is uh, determined to establish a, a joint visitor battle group. And the deadline for, uh, for completing that process is the first half of 2016. Uh, we also try to, uh, to explore uh, possibilities of, of better regional cooperation on, uh, uh, in the framework of pooling and sharing, uh, which are also at the moment uh, uh, core initiatives being discussed uh, by the EU and, and the NATO. Uh, 
And last but not least, a very important uh, when it comes to the people-to-people uh, -people contact uh, initiatives, with, uh, which uh, has been completed uh, just recently, is uh, is uh, a consortium of uh, universities uh, uh, initiative, uh, which. Uh, uh, introduces the so-called Visegrad studies, European uh, studies <coughs> from, uh, uh, from the perspective of, uh, uh, of Central Europe. Uh, and I think this is, this is really innovative because for the first time in history, actually, four universities, uh, the uh, Jagiellonian University in Krakow, uh, the University in Banska Bystrica, in Brno and in Pech, uh, will establish a joint degree, uh, which uh, as we hope, will also uh, bring uh, people not only from our countries but European uh, closer to uh, to Central Europe uh, and uh, to be able to present not only our joint uh, initiative but also the joint heritage, the cultural, the historical one. Uh, and I think uh, this this shall be only only the first step uh, in a uh, in a broader range of. Uh, of issues uh, uh, devoted in particular to, to close exchange uh, of people. I'll stop here because I think I've talked enough. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here and I'd be pleased to answer any questions you might have later on. Thank you.